For many of us, paper and prints are a thing of the past, but all of the digital junk can build up and be a bit overwhelming. CNS Bridget Carey says there are simple ways to stay organized, starting with the many photos of your kids and pets on your phone, tablets, and laptops. I'm taking pictures of my kids. I don't have time to sit there and clean up my photos. Who has time for all of that? Carrie suggests making it easy for yourself by using a system that will back up your photos automatically in the background, like Google Photos or iCloud. And next, think about your digital documents. Don't just have a folder on your desktop that says personal stuff, school stuff, car stuff. Carrie says use short but specific titles like preschool forms or car loan. And that way, when you do have to hunt for it later, you're not just wondering, wait, where is it? I know it's somewhere in this giant My Documents folder. That's not going to work. And tidy up your email, too. I know it gets out of control. I'm kind of someone who claims email bankruptcy. I have to give up sometimes. But there is a degree at which you should be kind of aware of how to clean up your email, in particular when it comes to storage. By filtering your email to only messages with large file attachments, you can delete them in one big batch and quickly free up space. And manage your subscriptions by searching your email for the word subscription. Like, okay, what, what did I subscribe to? What can I maybe automatically cancel that I'm not really using? And if you feel that your email is completely out of control, Carrie says to consider starting fresh with a new one. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.